So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your table saw blade is uh, 90 degrees. And so you can use a digital angle finder to do that. Here I am cutting my boards to length for the tabletop. I'm intentionally cutting them about an inch longer. Uh, when I glue them up, I will have to trim the edges. So that gives me a little bit of leeway on my length. Next I am cutting my boards to width. This is where the uh, really square table saw blade will help you. Also having a, a feather board and an in-feed table really helps you to maintain accuracy when you're cutting your, your boards to glue them up. The reason I'm cutting so many strips of different widths is that uh, my tabletop is going to be made of walnut and cherry and it's going to have a pattern on the top. Here I'm gluing up the first section. Each section is going to be about 12 inches in width. Reason being I can fit it through my planer after I glue it up. It's helpful to use calls uh, to make sure everything is as flat as it can possibly be. Here's the first section completely glued up. I will glue together three more separate sections and then I will glue them all together to form a hole. Here I'm cutting uh, more strips for my second section and here's all the strips uh, laying next to each other and here they are glued up. Here I'm gluing the third section. Um, I did not record gluing the fourth section because it looks exactly the same as this one. Now I'm going to run all the sections through my planer. Now I'm going to glue these together uh, a section at a time.
Next, I'm going to sand the top and I'll make some pencil marks. And I'm starting with 80 grit just to really try to level things out as much as possible. And you erase the pencil marks and then go up to 120 and just keep going up on the grits. Now just trimming the edges and then putting a quarter inch round over uh, around the whole top. When using a device like this, you really wanna make sure your saw blade is square. To me, this is one of the scariest parts of this whole build is cross-cutting the tabletop. You want to triple check everything, all your measurements, make sure everything is as accurate as it can be. When I made this tabletop, I really should have made it at least one inch thick. As it sits right now, it's three quarters of an inch thick, which is just a little bit too flimsy for my tastes. So here I'm cutting some supports that uh, will run across the underside of each table leaf. Here I'm routing a channel that is half an inch deep and three quarters of an inch wide. This is what the cross piece will sit into. Then I'll square up the corners with a chisel to have a nice tight fit. Next, I'm going to route a mortise into the edge of each leaf. Then square up the end with a chisel. With these pieces, I'm going to create some tenons. Uh, the tenon will be glued into one edge of a table leaf. Then one side of the tenon has to be planed down just a little bit so it will fit loosely into the other table uh, leaf. Next, I'm going to route a small, shallow slot for the magnets and the metal uh, bars to fit into. Then I'm going to glue the magnet in with some construction adhesive. Now I'm cutting the metal bar pieces that will be glued in and set, sit opposite of the magnets. So I, uh, I forgot to film it, but I put a, a round over on the bottom edge of each leaf and I'm giving it one final sanding before uh, I apply any sort of finish to it.
So before I go to 220 grit, I'm wetting the tabletop to pop the grain and then giving it a final sanding with 220. This is the finish I'm using. Uh, you can watch a video by the Wood Whisperer that shows how he applies this type of finish. It's a hard wax finish. And uh, here I am just wiping off the excess. Uh, one trick I had seen was someone using a car buffer for the final wipe off and it does seem to work pretty well. So the next thing I'm doing is cutting the wood that I need for the cup holders. These are the T-bolts I'm using. You can get these off of Amazon. The only thing left to do is put a finish on it. <laughs> 